Night beat update. You may remember these images of a car landing in someone's backyard on the northwest side. Property owners in the neighborhood saying tonight enough is enough. This is a look at $3,000 worth of damage caused to property along New Gilbo Road near Old Tezel Road by an alleged drunk driver just days ago. The night team's Patty Santos talks to a woman who says it's happened too many times. Total shock when we looked out the window. Sylvia Rios and her husband, the latest victims of drivers with disregard for the speed limit and private property. A driver took down her fence and part of her neighbors on Wednesday. The driver seemed to gain speed and lose control, and this is what winds up happening. They can see what the problem is from their own backyard. The curve goes like this. A curvy road down a hill is a speedway. See, when they come down. From the map, you can see the stretch of road from Old Tesla Road to 1604 is winding, causing drivers to wind up off the road. We have made the decision to move, but even though we'll move, what will happen to the people who occupy the same house? She says recently posted flashing speed signs aren't working. Her fence was hit twice. Her neighbor's fence also hit twice. The neighbor down the street hit at least half a dozen times. Please help us in trying to find a solution to this problem because this cannot keep happening. Police told Reels Pedro Montoya III was the driver of the car that hit her fence. Records show he was charged on Wednesday for driving while intoxicated. A new fence is going up next week, but she wonders how long it will last. The same thing will probably keep happening if there isn't something done. We reached out to the city to see what plans, if any, they have for this stretch of problem road. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.